Indiana Fever head coach Mary Ann Stanley has a long and accomplished resume, but she found out this week that she'd get to add to it. Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame finalist and the Indiana Fever head coach joins us now. What was it like, coach, to see your name listed amongst so many greats and to add another accomplishment to everything you've done so far in your career? Well, Pat, you know, obviously an exciting moment, but uh, a truly humbling moment in my life to be considered seriously as a finalist for the Naismith Basketball Hall of Fame is an incredible honor. And uh, again, just a distinction that, um, you know, as a young person, I couldn't even imagine, you know, I've spent my life in basketball and to have my work uh, and what I do recognize in this way is really humbling. And uh, I'm certainly thrilled to be included in the same sentence with some of the other finalists and honorees. Uh, really exciting time for sure. When you hear news like this, do you think back to your earlier days, maybe some of your teammates, the many, many coaches who have been there along with you, and of course your players along the way? Oh, absolutely. I mean, basketball is a, is a team event and no one uh, achieves any type of accolades or any type of success without uh, understanding intrinsically that this is a group effort and uh, without your teammates and your coaches and the people surrounding you, the supporting cast, uh, no one can achieve anything of substance really. So uh, I, I've spent the last, you know, 24, 48 hours just reminiscing and thinking about all the people I want to thank and the list is a mile long. So, uh, but really I, I've been blessed to be able to uh, work with and, and to help mentor and be mentored by some of uh, the best people in the business, in my opinion, and people that I have formed really great lifelong friendships with. So really, it's a lot of fun, along with the excitement. And uh, I, I feel an indebtedness to everybody that I've worked with and had the opportunity um, to share this journey with. It must be empowerful, uh, exciting as well to know that you're still writing your story and, and what you do here with the Indiana Fever will continue to add on to all of these accomplishments, your legacy, the franchise's legacy. Yeah, that is, it's different for sure. I mean, you know, I've just had an incredible opportunity in my life. I started my first time I played basketball I was six years old, if you can believe it. I happened to grow up in uh, Upper Darby, Pennsylvania, right outside of Philly. And there was a playground across the street. And every waking day, you know, when I was, I would look out the window and there's that basketball court calling me, you know, at the playground. And so uh, when I was six, my, my father's twin brother, my uncle took me out there and showed me how to shoot. I, of course, I was so little, I could hardly reach the basket. So I always tease Rick, Rick Barry because Rick used to shoot two-handed, underhanded from the free throw line. Well, when I first started shooting, that's how I had to shoot because I couldn't reach. So uh, it, it's been a love affair ever since. So uh, I'm just happy to still be at it and enjoying what I'm doing. And, and just, of course, thrilled to be here in Indiana with the fever. Well, we certainly will hope to hear the good news that your name is called at a future date. But uh, even to reach this step is a remarkable accomplishment. Coach Stanley, congratulations on behalf of everybody from the Indiana fever. Thank you so much, Pat. I appreciate it. Looking forward to some more exciting moments in the year ahead.